You made 72 grand in one month. Yeah. I tell you what, you show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now and I work for you. Hey, Paulie, what's up? No, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. Welcome back to 2020. So it's 2020. Happy New Year and also Happy Chinese New Year to all of you. If you've got any Chinese friends or any Asian friends, just go and say, Gong Hei Fat Choi. It means, may you get rich and hope they say the same back to you. So may you all viewers, Chinese, non-Chinese or non-Asians also will get rich. So the topic today is about three UK growth stocks, which I would like to share with you. I've, so before I go any further, please click subscribe on my channel. If you enjoy my content, leave a comment below. So my name is Alex Ko, hashtag father with three jobs. So I'm an engineer. Uh, I do blogging and I also write about finance because I really enjoy it. I like it because who doesn't like money? Huh? Okay. What is a growth stock? Invest in a company and grow with the company and potentially this company might go. So I know that as UK investors, we're always looking over the waters to the US market. We're all jealous about the likes of PayPal, eBay, Netflix, Uber. Why do we not have shares like this? But in fact, you are wrong. We do have shares like this. Okay, one share I would like to bring up, for example, is Ocado. Okay, Ocado versus Apple. So, Ocado, well, I remember when I bought Ocado back in about 2016, 2007, they were worth about two pounds. And now Ocado today is worth about 12 pounds and it fluctuates between 10 to 13. And they're still growing. They might not be making money, but they've got a niche technological stock for uh, food delivery, for processing um, line, rearrangement of food and deliver it without or just purely robotics in the warehouse. Even the likes of Amazon are all jealous of Ocado. Yes, Apple may have gone about three times, but Ocado is going about six times. So that's growth stocks. Do not negate the UK uh, market. There are hidden gems in there which we might not know. The number one stock that you should be watching out for in the year 2020 is this hidden gem, Games Workshop. Yes, Games Workshop. You find them on the high streets, kids rushing into Games Workshop, coloring these little dinky small figurines, grown adults playing the games with magical dice. It's a store where you walk in and everyone's really friendly and you go, why would I invest in the Games Workshop? I told myself the same thing. And do you know in the last five years, Games Workshop has gained about 11 times. The stock has grown 11 times. I am not joking. P ratio, which I checked, is at 33.4. Dividends pay four times a year at 2.69%. Sorry, I'm looking at it because my chart's there. <laughs> and a market capital of 2.2 billion. I actually walked into a store in Aberdeen and I actually interviewed, I couldn't film, I interviewed, I took my notes out. I asked the store manager who was really, really friendly. You know, Games Workshop has got, number one, one of the most loyal, happy employees trying to make customers happy. And why in 2020 I'm talking about it's because they're evolving, okay? One reason is because of its branding. They're not only coming up with small figurines, they're also coming up with uh, video games on your apps. You've got uh, movie rights, but not directly. They're licensing out the movie rights. And that's what I've discovered from my interview with the manager at the store. This company is just revolving. They're digitizing as well. They're going social media. It's every, they've got Facebook, social media, Instagram for individual shops. And the final point that I would like to make about Games Workshop for a business idea, um, not a, for a business-minded person, is the amazing margin. Try to walk into the store this weekend. Turn the shelf over to one of this mini small figurine, okay? It looks like a cute warrior with a sword on its hand or maybe a big on a horse. Try to turn the box around and look at the price. 
the box feels really light when you turn it on that figurine unpainted and its plastic form costs you 30 pounds and the p ratio of 33 is actually quite low it's a growth stock compared to like uh, the netflix uh, compared to other companies in the us it's it's actually quite cheap it's really really cheap compared to boohoo an online company i think boohoo is about 50 to 60 so games workshop is relatively affordable it's almost equivalent to to da joe it's almost equivalent for, to astrazeneca in terms of value and company number two is Avast, A-V-A-S-T, Avast. So Avast is a class as a cybersecurity company. It's an antivirus, started off as an antivirus company and a couple of mergers and now a company that trades on FTSE 250. And Avast, the cybersecurity company is worth about £4.55, £4.55 today. And the P ratio is about 30. Uh, pays dividends of 1.49 and pays twice a year with an interim and a final dividend and that it is worth a market capital of quite big of 4.6 billion pounds and Avas is capturing more of the household uh, agenda the household market the CEO back in 2019 said that he would like to cancel his bonus he says, do not pay me my bonus this year. I've just got in in the last 18 months. Reinvest the bonus into the company. And one thing about Avas is there's a severe lack of technological uh, giants in, in the FTSE 250 and FTSE 100. They are looking to break into FTSE 100 to want to climb the FTSE 100. So to do that, they have to grow their market capital from 4.6 billion. They have to have consistent sales and revenue. They have to you know, give an output of a 20, 30, 40% growth every single year. That's what Avas is looking for. And that's what the government will give an incentive for them to, to grow together. Is recorded on the 29th of January. So before I record this video, I did a bit more a search last minute. And there's two potential problems that could arise with Avas. They've dropped for about 10 to 12 percent in the last two two days. That's because there's certain uh, investors out there think that Avas is overvalued. And second reason is because uh, they've been insiders selling. So they've been uh, insider shareholders, major shareholders selling their Avas shares because they've held it for 18 months, they're taking profits. So that puts uh, institutional investors off a bit and they're starting to take profits as well. So it's like a domino effect. If somebody inside is selling, everyone else is selling too. So Avas, you could potentially wait for it to potentially drop to about four pounds or three pounds 80. So like I said, put it in your Yahoo Finance or any apps that will trigger an alert when it comes to under four pounds. And you know, it would be a good buy for growth. Okay, now for the last and number three stock that I would like to share with you based on my research, my personal is Keyworks Studio. So what is Keyworks Studio? I know if you go to Hargreaves Langston, if you go to Google, it's quite hard to understand what they actually do. People get confused. Are they a games company? Are they a software company? What, what do they actually do? What do they produce? software engineering house and most of the clientele are from games company so games like the likes of fortnite the likes of uh, activision world of warcraft all the games are getting really big that receives contracts from this big major company to do the likes of beta testing you know front-end developing or graphics design oh you know they have they've got guys on the uh, back-end design of the user uh, interface they, they are basically an engineering firm they have to deliver on target and i've done my search i've done i've checked for competition who else does it to be honest, I cannot really find a big company such as Keywork Studio who's established procedure, who's established a pool of talent that they can recruit on how they're gonna turn things around really quickly when they receive a contract. Keywork Studio has established itself. And they are currently sitting about £13.70. They've been fluctuating, they can go from 10 to 14, up and down. They've been fluctuating for the last you know, six months. Repeat ratio of 34. Dividends of 0 
forget they're not a dividend company they're still a growth company forget dividends don't buy this company for dividends and they are only worth less than a billion pounds in fact 890 um, million pounds now, i personally would buy keywork studio just to add to a bit more esports and uh, esports more engineering firm into my portfolio they still got ups and downs they're going to see about who they employ they've still got a reputation to upkeep but the potential of growth is there and also the potential of a downside is also there keywork studio go to the website and you'll be surprised on all the games that involve and all the household games you know ask your your child to go to keywork studio and see if they recognize <clears throat> any of the games there you go i personally will be feeling more comfortable to invest in the likes of keywork studio rather than other game developers you know but keywork studio is different their niches they help all these guys they're friends with everybody they get contracts from everyone they want to make sure that these games are released on target so take the mundane task get the pool of talent get it done high quality product and send it back to the client win-win situation isn't it so just to summarize this video the recommendation i've given you is the first one games workshop take a gaw sitting in the footsie 250. the second one of my recommendation of uk growth stock for 2020 is avsd avas cyber security company household uh, antivirus security company and number three the final one which i personally would fit in my portfolio is keyworks studio KWS who sits again in FTSE 250 and this is my three put it in make sure you download the Yahoo app it's not my app I'm not going to make money from this the Yahoo app add all these three stocks in your shortlist and monitor them monitor them follow them read the news and and see if you're ready to buy don't jump on it but do monitor them because I think they've got more potential than any other stocks in FTSE 250 or FTSE 100 again long term hold and believe in a company and do your own research do your own homework see if it fits in your portfolio so don't just focus on the dividends don't just focus on the US market because of the high fees and perhaps invest in some in the UK lower the fees use the GBP make your money work for you let these companies work hard for you that's why they've gone public that's why they want to grow so all the best Happy Chinese New Year. Kong Hei Fat Hope you get rich and hope I get rich too. Bam. Take care, guys. Bye.